Good morning Antique and Garden Showcase friends, it's Mark here and we are out on another bright, sunny, extremely hot Kentucky day in August. Um, we're in another one of these drought situations again, but today I am actually out this morning merchandising. This is the first week of the entire year that I've actually been behind on my regular job, so I'm out doing that. And I have a little bit of freedom and leeway on that, but I still need to get some things done. So. Doing a little work this morning, but we're gonna go to the booth now and see what uh, I'm adding to the retail space this week. So I'm outside the shop. Today is just going to be a one crate kind of day. I've got several pieces of pottery wrapped up here and that's pretty much the extent of the haul that's going in here, but I'll show you what is left in the booth at this time. And I'll talk a little bit about the pottery that I found today because there is one sort of unique piece in there. So right now, here's what I have going on in the booth. Got a lot of glassware. There's some Pyrex bowls, a few art glass pieces, a lot of forest greens. If you're a forest green collector, I have lots of pieces for you. There are some collectible pieces here, some uh, vintage pictures and things. Really nice wall art. Super oil painting on canvas of apples. Really pretty fall look there, year round look really. Nice planter. Or not, not a planter, but a uh, magazine rack. I keep thinking about gardening things here lately. This little sample table, dolls. On this side, we have lots of porcelain. Lots of different porcelain pieces to choose from. I found this neat ship model on top. On the side wall, there's still lots of framed art to choose from. A couple of wall shelves, another plate rack, really nice Kentucky made quilt rack for the wall. Also, here we have some planters and other things going on. So here's a piece I wasn't familiar with. It's Abingdon Pottery. And Abingdon Pottery, I found a little bit about the history there. They actually made plumbing fixtures for the Chicago World's Fair in 1933 and then made pieces for the home after that. So this actually fits into the deco period. This is about an 11, maybe 12 inch vase. Really nice piece, no flaws on it whatsoever. There's a comparable online listed at hundred dollars but uh, I actually found this in the shop so I can offer it up at a better price I've got 55 on it here so really neat piece if you're an Abingdon collector this is gonna be a nice piece of pottery to put in your collection also here's a piece of Bybee pottery which is local to this area and this one looks like just a regular piece but it's kind of unusual because it's signed on the bottom Kirksville Days, which is a little festival that happens in a town nearby here, and it's dated 2006, which is unlike by me to do a lot of dating and signing underneath. So this is kind of a neat piece for the collector around here in this area too as well. So this one will be in uh, booth 42 case up front in just a few minutes. Hall USA was another nice pottery around, and these little baskets have been highly collectible over the years. Um, they made this in blue as well that I'm aware of, but this glossy yellow is also an unusual one. And uh, it's just marked USA on the bottom, but it is Hall pottery. And they do have quite a bit of age to them. And we also have these things available in the showcase. I have a Queen Best flatware set, several items here, which I just put that Kirksville Days piece in there. Cute little Japan teapot with a rattan handle. Lots of paperweights. Some Nippon pieces and a really cool octopus paperweight there. Lots of neat things. Okay, so I just finished depositing the items into the booth space in there and getting that kind of straightened up a bit. So I'm going to go on back, do some more merchandising, and then we're going to go do an auction pickup because I managed to find a few more pieces at auction last night. So see you at the auction in a little bit. As this day goes on, it just keeps getting warmer and warmer. Look at that temperature. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Kentucky weather. 
So I'm here to pick up the auction things and it's really nice because they have this uh, system set up whenever you make a purchase at the end of the night you get an invoice that has a um, place on there where you click a link and then you set up a time to pick up. So it's three in the afternoon was the time I picked up, worked out great with work. So I just come up here, they have everything ready on the tables at three. I hand them a check or the business credit card, whichever one I wanna do and off we go with our stuff. So I'm gonna go pick up what I've got now and uh, we'll see what I came up with at this auction. Okay, as you can see, I ended up with a whole lot more than I thought. I've got some pottery here, which is all wrapped up really nice and some flower pots and a bowl, a box of assorted stuff. I just picked this up at the end of the auction. It sold as a box lot really cheap and there's some glassware down in here. Really neat snowflake plates with cups that go with them and some really pretty bowls. I've got everything kind of packed. There's two or three glass bowls in there. I'm thinking about doing a whole serving section in the booth uh, come Christmas time and just put up, we're here to serve you as a sign, you know, with the antique and garden showcase on there and have all sorts of neat serving things uh, for people to pick from to serve their Thanksgiving and Christmas meals. So kind of an idea I have rolling around, but we'll take a look more at this when I get it unpacked. Well, looks like it stormed today, and this is what I came home to. <laughs> Destruction. I do not like this at all. <clears throat> so, well, discovered that we had a really bad straight line windstorm here. And as you can see, uh, it took out the pots on the upper portion of the wall and there's that one i had to clean all that up it actually broke the water lines i had to come back in and uh, redo the uh, lines so that i could put shutoff valves on those and you can see the back of this you can tell which way the wind blew and then out here if you look at that it's kind of done a number on the uh, pretty heart's flame there in the middle too as well but uh, you know this is ex expected here but not really that expected and i'll Part of me was going to come out here this weekend and take these things down because they had gotten so big and unruly but it was so hot our temperatures have just been up near 100 and just sweltering humidity and it's not been a day to work out here and i didn't feel like it i said i'm not going to get out there and do it now i kind of wish i had but luckily one pot was broken the other one just had a slight chip because it had landed on this one so you know i didn't lose but one and i had a, a spare so you know, I still have four matching pots, so I'm not going to fret over that. But uh, there was a little bit more damage in the back, too. So with straight line winds, you just never know, and I'm pretty sure that's what we had. We lost a great big branch. There's an enormous branch in the lower backyard that's fallen out, so it looks like there's going to be some chainsaw time for me as well. So this was really not how this video was supposed to go today i was doing an auction pickup and then i was going to bring you home and show you how that all turned out but this is a typical typical day in the life of mark you're getting to see it firsthand here this time so um you know the unexpected happens it looks like the wind kind of got in the squash a little bit too but nothing major back here so you know we dodged probably a bigger bullet than than we think so i'll show you the auction stuff in just a bit so these were a few of the things that I picked up at the auction today. I got uh, another Bobby pottery piece. This is a really old Waco pottery piece, I believe. So it's not marked on the bottom, so I'm not real, real sure. A uh, couple of McCoy planters. There's a, a Hull USA planter. And a teacher friend found this one. Uh, this is a McCoy uh, USA flower pot. Really neat. And then I got a stack of these uh, snowflake, kind of triangular, really nice little snack tray sets. And I'm not sure which one of these cups goes with it. I was trying to decide, I have one over here. I have, there were two cups in there. This one's got, it's more of the weight. And then there was another one that had little divots in it. So I'm not sure which one truly matched that set. I'm going to do a little research and see. But uh, anyway, I got those. And in a box lot, there were some more things. Um, thinking about, this is kind of strange and ugly, but, you know, somebody may love that thing. I'm thinking about doing a whole serveware section 
for the holidays, you know, serve it up and something pretty for Thanksgiving and Christmas. So I've got, these were just practically a giveaway there in a box lot and they're beautiful pieces. So there's another one down here, but uh, yeah, some of these will be going up right away. Probably these pieces will be going up right away and then I'll hold these back. I'm gonna do, like I said, a really neat Christmas display up there. So that, my friends, wraps up this week's episode of Antique and Garden Destruction. Might as well say it, right? Anyway, you can't cry over this stuff. You might as well just laugh and go on. So anyway, I hope you all have a great week. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, we'd love to have you here. And we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye.